we haven't checked in with this guy in a while. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a man who most days, it seems, is uh, emptying bags of money out the window of a plane doing circles over a volcano for amusement, for his amusement. This is, uh, he's talking to a guy, um, this is uh, part of a three-part series and everything, this is really short, but the idea is that Patrick, Colbeck joins with updates on the Dominion lawsuit and Fox News. I'm just enjoying this because of how much of this shit has just moved on. You know what I mean? This is kind of glorious. This motherfucker is still punching clouds. Ah, ah, so good. All right, and um, and of course that guy's got Skylab behind him on his desk. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, here we go. I. It's super fun. All right, here we go. Pat, as long as we have you, can you give us your reporter? What were you telling me about Fox News and Dominion, this shady deal, or what's what's going on? What's happening? What? How am I? Ah, oh, shit. How is this, any of this actually gonna, what am I? God damn it. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in this age. What is going on? I don't know. I've been just investing all of my money and my energy and life into this horse shit forever my family thinks i'm nuts and my friend circle is dwindling and my workers are pissed and my business is failing but the important thing is that i back a pussy grabbing freak from florida till my entire existence burns down that we're living in i wanted to make sure, i was chomping at the bit over the weekend i go no of course you were i don't want to bug him over the weekend i want don't to give him a chance him. to you know uh, just relax a little bit so i called you up this morning and I wanted to make sure a couple of uh, news clips that I saw come across the wire over the weekend didn't uh, skip your uh, uh, your view. And they deal with a couple of key topics. Obviously, it mm. deals with the Dominion lawsuit. Just like you, I get asked all the time. What, was what the fuck are you doing with your life? Behind the settlement of Fox News Corporation with Dominion. Um, their, uh, their guilt and their awareness of their guilt and their desire not to actually lose $1.6 billion. And remember that lawsuit was originally, they were seeking $1.6 billion. Mm -hmm. And eventually, right before it was, go to was gonna go to trial, there was this mysterious settlement for seven- It's not mysterious. People settle before, right before a trial all the time. $787 million. Well, now some of the breadcrumbs around why that actually happened are- Breadcrumbs, that's right. Yes, hard facts. Give them to, give, come on, bring it. Starting to pop out. And Brandon, I don't know if you were able to put together a couple of those clips that I was uh, requesting here, but O'Keefe Media Group has did an undercover. Yes, we got um, them. We got them whenever you want to call them. Just tell us which ones you want to go to. We'll play them as you call them. Yeah, there's two sets of clips. One de Very deals with kind of topic number one, which is why uh, did Fox News settle with Dominion and because they were aware that if they went to trial, they would lose. They provide some insights um, into that settlement that deal with uh, Tucker Carlson being fired as a condition of that settlement. The second cool clip that we're going to talk about actually gets a little bit more into ties to the Biden administration because it's a press secretary, a former press secretary from the Biden administration that took over as the PR firm for Dominion right in the time frame when they're looking at uh, how to communicate how this settlement is going for Dominion. So I think you're going to find both sets of clips pretty interesting. Let's start Super off with that exciting. first clip, though. Let's, yeah, go for from it. From O'Keefe Media Group that uh, shows a, an undercover reporter interviewing Fox News producer uh, uh, Sean Langwell. $144 million to settle that. Oh, that was with um, the it, yeah. Dominion company. <laughs> uh, what happened with that? Like, they gave him money, so they wasn't part of it. They say it wasn't part of it, but we're learning that Tucker getting fired was part of that. Tucker getting fired was part of the Dominion law. Oh my God, really? Like, it was part of it? Like, they were, like, Dominion said, we'll take $880 million and you got to fire... Bongholio and Tucker, um, or they didn't say that they just got their money and then Tucker was going to cost them more money and double down on a bunch of shit. And they were just like, cut him loose. So it was related to it, but not 
tight. It's like both, but neither. Basically. Yeah, he was ousted. You know. Well, it's either Pillow Guy or it's brought to you by five. <laughs> so they're even mentioning you in that. And, and so that's pretty damning. And, and you know the... It's not damning at all. Honest to God, what it, what the fuck did we see? One of the producers at Fox was like, yeah, it's kind of related. Like, they fired him because, you know, it's kind of sort of like that thing. It was close to it. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, and by the way, O'Keefe Media is, I think, he's he's doing that on his own because he's Project Veritas is suing him and he's left the company. But the days that we're living in, Mike, it's tough for me to take any one source as a definitive source of information. Really? Mike doesn't have that problem. Tell him, Mike Pillow, you could fart out reasoning why you think the election was stolen and just say it. Information on a given topic. All right, so that's part one. Then there's a follow-up, apparently. Se another section. What does Dominion want to hide prior to the next election? That's the other title. That's the title of this video by Frank Cliff. It stinks even more when you see this next clip, Mike, because... Oh, it's terrible. This is so bad. I mean, the la you thought the last one was innocuous horseshit. Now Wait. it shows ties to the Biden administration. Dun, dun, dun. Ties to the Biden administration because he won the election. What we have is a former press secretary by the name of Mike LaRosa going over to a, co a newly formed... Assistant deputy press secretary or something. company called Penta. Um, who a new company called Penta. Then Penta takes the account. Who, as their primary client is Dominion Voting Systems right at this time. So it really looks like you've got a Biden official coming over to... No. By the way, press secretaries are not officials. You can be the official press secretary, but you're not in the decision-making process. You're how shit gets talked about, not what gets done. Engage in the aftermath of the Dominion uh, Fox News settlement and uh, provide guidance as to how they should go off and communicate the settlement. Yeah, it's a PR company and they're a spokesperson, so they worked with spokesperson person they who spoke person shit uh could you roll that clip there brandon the white house was literally crafting oh hey it's the same guy message for Dominion. No. so you're like no of course so he left working for jill biden jill biden oh my god so he was a deputy press secretary for jill biden to go work for a dc a big dc pr firm that is on because you worked for the first lady, uh, you're now. Ugh. To start this PR firm or work for this firm, his sole client was Dominion. Doing their comms. Mm -hmm. It's like right from the White House to get. I've been, I'm proud of my firm and all of my Penta Group colleagues working for our client, Dominion Voting Systems, and the incredible one. Yeah, it's, I, it, where did you ever find this secret communication? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. We know hashtag Penta, hashtag Dominion, hashtag Crisis Communications, hashtag Dominion Voting Systems, hashtag Public Affairs, hashtag Crisis Comps, hashtag Crisis, hashtag Penta Group. Jesus, this crisis, this guy's terrible at hiding. Those little moving parts are like. Hashtag undercover, hashtag fake mustache, hashtag I'm wearing a wire. Everyone's shitty. Whoa. Everyone's shady? Motherfucker, you're talking to someone who is recording you surreptitiously without your permission. The fuck are you talking about? You're gonna have the fucking nerve to cut to a, a tweet someone puts out about their active clients that they are publicly working for, and and your source is gonna be somebody who thinks they're just having a conversation and whoever they're talking to is secretly taping them. Oh, so well, the White House to literally go take down the news outlet that was being unfavorable to his boss. Uh, no, one's talking, no one's talking about that. Nobody's even talking about that. And I, except me, because I work at Fox. And I'm talking about it in a coffee house with somebody who's recording me. You know, you're talking about like the shady players, like your buddy Michael Rosa. Like, what it, what is, you know, like it's kind of public out there that he's like at this Penta group. He worked for Joe Biden. It's kind of public. It's in his fucking bio. It's his company. You know what's not public? This guy's awareness that you are recording him. Let's put it together. You said he was pulling the strings. What did you exactly mean by that? You know, like, with the, 
that keeps the news crafting the minion's message. Yes, that's what publicists do, stupid. Yes, your admitted publicist will help craft your public message. If they don't, fire them. Who's running there? To who? To, to the media. To me. Yeah, to guys. Duh. Corporate media to the corporate media and corporate media, especially like Fox, which is corporate media. It's like attack of corporate media. They're corporating their media. But no one's taking up on the fact that here's someone who used to work for Joe Biden. Jill Biden. Joe or Joe? Or Jill. Both. Worked, in the, worked, in the, worked in the administration. Yeah, worked in the administration. He was in the building. Uh, Jill Biden, Joe Biden. Basically, first ladies and presidents are the same. I mean, Nancy Reagan talked to, uh, you know, an astrologist. Then she would advise Reagan on when he should do certain things. And so basically, they're one person. Worked in the administration. Unless it's Melania and Trump, in which case they are never in the same room together unless it's contractually. Uh, going after a voting company, working with a voting company to take down Fox News. Mm, no, the, the, the goal wasn't to take down Fox News uh, or they wouldn't have settled. That's a whole story in and of itself. Well, go for it, kiddo. We got fucking, we got 40 seconds left. Or uh, maybe we don't. That's a whole story, but cut. Oh, we've got two, two key takeaways. We got Dominion essentially paying, effectively paying $800 million to silence Tucker Carlson in the upcoming. Run, run that by me again, stupid. Yeah, did you guys hear that? Say, say that again. So what's Dominion doing? What did Dominion do? Wow. So we've got two, two key takeaways. We got Two key takeaways. Number one, the first takeaway is we got Dominion essentially. We got Dominion essentially paying, paying effectively paying eight hundred million dollars. Effectively paying eight hundred million dollars. Silence Tucker Carlson. To silence Tucker Carlson. Dominion paid eight hundred million dollars to silence silence Tucker Car Carlson by Carlson by getting paid. Eight hundred million dollars. I don't know what the fuck. So they took half. Is that? I guess that's what he's trying to say. Is that they would trade half of that money just to get rid of Tucker Carlson? Mm. In the upcoming election, which begs the question: What are they trying to hide? And um. Apparently, uh, oh, what are they trying to hide? Uh, their strategy to get. Uh, I, I don't know. Actually, I would ask uh, Smartmatic because I don't know who they're going to get fired now. And we know what they're trying to hide. At which is? Um, and then number two, you've got the Biden Wait, they're not gonna tell administration us. trying to take out not only Tucker Carlson, but take out the only news network that at the time has any semblance of going off and sharing the truth about what's going on with Joe Biden. and his Okay, um, no. The, uh, Joe Biden does not have to work to attack Fox News at all because it would be really ham-handed if he did. People know that Fox is against him. And why would he bother when this dickhead is constantly attacking Fox? Democrats don't have to attack Fox anymore. The far right is on its fucking ankle every goddamn day. Is this an illegal recording? Yes, probably. Administration. So that's that. And then I think, is there a, it's just, it was there part three of that. Hold on. Nope. So, yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah. There's so much shit to cover today and I'm out of time right up to the minute. Look at that. Um, thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, it's house parks, mega worldwide. Um, if you know, and I'm excited, we're going to be, we'll obviously be here when, uh, when Trump gets indicted, the post Trump indictment videos are going to be so good. They're going to be so good. And I look forward to being there for them. But I want to, I want to remind you guys that this is the this kind of constant argument that everybody's like, oh my gosh, that's if that's true, you know, that it like my job is to point out right now, especially, that the whole the the strategy on the right is where there's smoke, there's fire. And so they're just making a bunch of steam and then pretending that it's smoke. That's it. That's the whole fucking yeah, I know. The Templeton's a rat. I have no idea what the shit they're talking about. The, uh, yeah. 
yes. I, I, yeah, everybody's reacting to that same point. Like, there, Fox News, fi- yeah, Jane Biden, Jill Biden, the Biden, Shemp Biden. Like, it's just, yeah. Gibberish on gibberish. Oh, thanks. I can't. I got I'm gonna go take the kids to see a movie tonight. So we're gonna go see Spider-Man. And um, and I love you guys. So appreciate the support, appreciate the help.